guys, welcome back to P3D. We are here at Heathrow with the baggage glitch once again. And we're off to Toronto and Canada. Uh, what? Uh, in the Air Canada 777-300ER. Uh, ACA 857. It's a bit bright here at Heathrow today. Yeah. A bit cloudy though. So let's go and get this powered on. Let's jump into the cockpit and turn the batteries on. AP can go to start and ADIRUs can go on. So that pretty much means we've got to wait for everything to line up, uh, turn on, sorry. And I'll see you once that's finished. Goodbye. Welcome back. And um, APU is turned off and I've collected the external power, so we don't need any extra fuel than we need to. Before we do anything, let's go and open the doors for the catering. Uh, so come down to the doors page and disarm and open these doors and they should start to open here there you go catering's now loading on there we go we should get into the FMC now so legs page and pause on it EGLL at gate um, 238 today. Terminal th uh, 2B actually. Uh, so, let's get rid of that quiet hours. So, So the uh, GPS position into here, uh, gate doesn't recognize it, so it's because of route and EGLL. Off to Toronto, Canada, which is C, Y, Y, Z. That puts into there to company route, that just lights up. And we're taking off runway 09, 09 left. No, we're not, 09, 09 right, sorry. And uh, 209 left is landing by the way today. Uh, due to the winds, six minutes until IRSs have aligned. Here comes the alarms. Let's just smash the warning button to cancel then. There we go. And our flight number today is ACA 857. Activate that and execute it in. And perfect it. Uh, so, let's load on the fuel. Before we do any perfect net, so we're doing four, 59 tons and 196 of kilos of fuel today, and we're um, going to be using 52 tons of fuel. So we will have eight, no, seven or six tons of fuel left as we arrive at Toronto. We have to set zero fuel weight as well, which is a two way eight point. 208.5 FMC 048 goes in there and the reserves today are 3 and uh, cruising today at 340 and uh, PFPX says there are step climbs from to 360 and then 380 uh, the FMC will work it out itself what you should be doing, uh, cost index, not sure what Air Canada do, so it's going to put 85, which is what it normally does. Execute that and uh, should just load it in. And uh, 380 and 360, nice. If they step climbing at the sack, be the right points. Atari at 360. Uh, yes, no. It's meant to be uh, the next, this one here, at 360, but that's absolutely fine, it's close enough. And uh, now the catering is completed, we're going to start doing all the other things, so set that to 2000 for the squawk and uh, set the park brake as we here. Thrust limit, I'm doing absolutely uh, no like takeoff normal D rates, so we're going to D rate of 1 because how light we are today and uh, not, enough pas not a lot of passengers, so we're just doing D rate of 1 and uh, select a temperature of 30, 27 degrees. That gives us a final N1 speed of 96.9. Uh, depart and arrive, 09 right, out of uh, Heathrow on a SID. 
of the Debusa 4G. Like so, execute that in. Unable next altitude. You will be able to do it because I'll tell you to do it. Uh, take off. Um, let's go back to pause in it. Uh, no, not pause. Uh, so, first limit. And uh, let's check it. Everything's alright there. Flaps. The CG can go in now. So, CG of 28%. And uh, we're going to go flaps. It looks like flaps fire today. I should get top cat, which uh, tells me what I should be doing. be quite useful. And I uh, was pretty much going to wait for the IRS to line now. Three minutes left. I can just hear the passengers board in the background. What I'm going to do open the volume mixer and bring up the audio for that. Like so. You might be able to hear it in the video now, I'm not sure. Extremely bright. Sunny day. I think that, I think I might turn the brightness down. PTA, or the we're all within uh, prepared itself. Looks a bit realistic, not too bright. So I'm going to keep it the same for now. So now we have two minutes to align. We're going to set this to HPA on both sides. Uh, not meters. I can actually reach HPA. Like so. There we go, yeah. And uh, Active Sky will turn me the QNH today, which is 1022. And uh, now switch over to P3D. Right, 1022. There we go, like so. And this can go to HPA on that s screen there. Uh, because the baggage, which won't take long at all to load, was pretty much going to wait for the passengers to load on today. And as the baggage starts loading, we might start the APU soon. Normally, probably start it when baggage finishes. So let's do weather and terrain or turbulence, whatever that is. Because I don't know really why, what it is. Right. Can it arm the emergency lights? Like so. We're going to set the nav light on as we have power uh, and seatbelt signs can come on because we technically actually load on the fuel as you can see it's all here. Facing 9.2 tons. No fuel pumps are going on at uh, no point. As it's the daytime, camera lights will stay off and logo and wing light will stay off. Hit the passengers getting boarded on now. We can take a look at the checklist. So, what we do is oxygen test on both sides, like so, that is checked. Flight instruments, well the IRSs have not aligned yet, it'll be 30 seconds till they've aligned, so, won't be too long. 20 seconds now, and we're pretty much going to check if all the gyros are aligned and everything's, every, everything's fine. Ah, cargo doors should be open. Like so, we can arm these doors as well. Cargo will now start loading up. Right, RS is now aligned. Everything is looking perfect. So, we're going to bring this, off. this down to 10 and this one up 1. So, we got a solid like that. And weather, VORs, data. VORs, data, and terrain. There we go. And uh, traffic can come on, even though TCAS is off at the moment. Right, flight instruments are checked. Right. Ah, oh, heading, runway heading today at 09 right is 1, no, not 1, what am I going about? 090. Which is literally, technically, on the opposite side of the airport at the moment, I believe. Uh, sort of. It's a, quite a far taxi. Apparently he's in our right. It's close to us according to that, but that's fine. Oh, we'll just taxi it to normal. Alright, we're going to set this up to 1000 and set this all the way up to 340. Like so. And uh, let's go back to the checklist. And that's before start. It's fine. 
I'm pretty much going to wait for the passengers to be boarded on. So, pretty much, uh, TCAS can, no, I think, let's turn on after push back as we start taxiing and the TCAS uh, goes on. Uh, we can probably start the APU now. Let's check out the baggage. And the baggage pretty much literally finished, so if you can start up and uh, we'll wait for that. So what we can do to wait for that, we can set a look at the sat page and we start seeing the RPM to slowly go up uh, soon, once it's like heated up and everything. If you're not sure, you can click the start button again, hold it a bit longer and then I'll start, slowly start up soon. Righty ho. It's taking a look at the checklist I have down here. So you can see the RPM is now slowly going up at 30% now. And when it gets 100% and uh, stable, we know that it's currently producing power for the aircraft. We can then uh, get rid of everything. So the V, v speed is today V1 of 158, VR of 163, V2 of 172, and the takeoff weight as well, actually, we should put in of 267. Point three, like so, and uh, that just sets those in there. So V two one seven two, that goes in like so, like that, and pretty much have a stable APU speed, hundred one percent. Right, that external power can go, and you can see the plane is still powered up, which is perfect. That's what we want. To, that's what we want to see, and uh, wheel chocks. Uh, Parking breaker set so wheel shocks can get removed and air conditioning can get removed and all that. And then come back to the doors page in here. And we can look up and turn the packs on as we just get rid of the air conditioning and things. And also, they'll turn off when we start the engines, which is fine. Uh, you can see the rest of the things down there. Before start procedure, flight deck doors closed and locked. Passenger borders and baggage loading is in progress so we can and boarding is now completed nice okay close all the doors and uh, we can arm the doors uh, there we go get rid of the jetway let's wait for these to fully close so we know that it's correct we can also just look outside but a pilot can't do that in real life uh, so they probably look at the reflection there is none at the moment so come down here And there we go. Open it. Everything's fine. Everything's closed and locked and armed. That's good. We can now go down to the checklist of the before start. So, flight deck doors closed and locked. We've been through the MCP. Takeoff speeds are done. CDP flight is checked now. And the trim, there's no hydraulics. That's fine. Taxi briefing today. Uh, we'll pretty much be coming out on kilo. I'm taxiing all the way down alpha to all zero nine right. That's perfect. And uh, that's checked. And the beacon light can now come on as well as a fuel pumps and uh, we can now request GSX for our pushback and departure the nose right and no if you go nose left you'll be going into a wall of terminal uh, that's that is not what you want to be doing so hopefully good that GSX found that out and it's going to wait for it to set up everything I uh, can probably tick this checklist then. Everything's set up there. And then we're going to start the hydraulics once it starts to push back. Just check any if all the fault lights are due to the engines, so engine bleeds are off, hydraulics are off, and generators are off. So they are all the problems up there, so that's fine. They're all due to engines not starting. So we have no problems. We could probably go and test the TCAS. Uh, just check if things are right. Alright, right, it's passed. We can release the parking brakes and we can now go and turn on the right ELEC and the left ELEC. Uh, wait for the fault lights to go off, and uh, we'll turn on the other ones. 
there we go and like so that's completed and we can go and start engine number two you can see the pack should come off once that has happened so we go packs off now and engine page we wait for an NT of 10 I think is what it is and the triple seven because they have half the engines are they don't need to wait until NT of 25 cent and there we go engines are starting up I uh, pretty much want to wait for this this one to click back and then we would start the other engine you see the fault lights in these two are gone as the engine has given power to the engine well not plane yet but it's got power which means hydraulics are working ok you can hear it really spalling up now no smoking, seatbelt signs are on that's good but goodbye alright so we can start the left engine Come down. Wait for rudders going crazy. There we go. We can put the fuel in now. And uh, GSX is pushing us. Correct, actually. And TIS is also. Uh, that's not need needed today for the takeoff. Wait for a steady uh, speed on the engine to make sure so everything's alright. You see it really spooling up now, and one's coming up fast, even faster. 4% and 2 is going up like crazy. It's perfect. And the engine start has cut off. That means we can now go and turn the T gas to T A I so other aircraft know where we are. I've kind of got traffic on 09 right apparently. If we go outside, we go to top down, we can actually see where we're going to taxi. It's going down here and uh, like that, around Heathrow. That aircraft just took off. What was it? A BA? BA AT20 maybe? That's what it looks like. There we go. Parking brakes are set. Took a while for a pushback then. Right, so, got no uh, recall, that's good. Go to the checklist and complete everything so flight registers can come on as well. So, anti ice, anti -ice is not needed. Recall is checked, also brake is RTO. Flight controls are not checked, and ground equipment is not clear yet. So, flight controls full left, full right, all the way down. All the way up. Rudder right left. Rudder right, right. Neutral and trim of 4.5. Like so. Checklist of the flight controls are checked. So, that's check. Put it to static camera. And let's get out of the aircraft. Start walking around it. Not that close to the engines, the dangerous. Yes, yeah, so the shiny white texture uh, livery on this aircraft is amazing. Blooming quite a lot. I might turn that down on the B3D settings. Right, clear. Right, clear. right, left is clear, right is clear, so the ground equipment is now clear. And we can check that as before takeoff. So when we start taxiing, we'll bring the flaps down to five. Well, it says, have a nice or have a good trip. Have a good trip. Beautiful. We can start going. Taxiing down to the runway. So, a little bit of power. Release the parking brakes. And start the timer. Flaps one, flaps five. A bit more power. Oh, we will be on our way to Toronto soon. So zero nine right. Okay, there is our gate. We're just there. All right. Okay. You can see our departures laid in properly now, and other aircraft are taking off on zero nine right, which is good. AI has actually found out what it's meant to be doing. I'm amazed by that. I am really amazed. 
I'm going to taxi on Alpha today, uh, rather than Bravo. Uh, so we've got quite big wings. I've got an ATC, so it could be anything. So APU can now come off, actually. And you can see the APU cooldown on the MCP. Is it? Is it MCP? Not MCP. That's the MCP. The display, sorry. What, what I'm going about. Stick the camera into this view, and uh, probably going to speed up the video. Hopefully, it won't become like uh, the Kalo one, will literally just going down to the end of the runway. So it's not going to be too, hopefully not flashy, like at Amsterdam. That was a how long, like a 15-minute taxi, I think that was. So yeah, I'll see the runway at zero nine right, and goodbye. Welcome back, and we hit zero, zero 09 right to get come left here right now to the Alpha, no, not Alpha, November, I think November 10 hold short, isn't it? Not sure. That's what charts say, so hopefully that's correct. That American livery is way out of date. Let's just go and wait here. Hopefully, we park too far ahead. Yeah, pretty much spot on. Alright, we can go and turn on the lights and the strobe lights. A cabin already. Heard them ding on the way down. And uh, we're pretty much going to line up behind this guy and we'll be on our way. Got another BA777. Yes. What's my chat for life? I need to update their liveries. Well, I'll do it full then. There we go. That's going off now. Let's go and wait behind this bit. So, landing lights can come on. Got no thing down here that's telling us what we're doing, and uh, we'll be on our way. And uh, let's go now. Spin it all the way down, all the way around to line up. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Oh, spot on, slightly. And uh, it's up there now. We're pretty much going to wait for it to go, and uh, we're going to clear ourselves all the way up. The triple sevens, loads of triple sevens, AT20. Yeah, a bit busy. Right, I'm going to slow us down a little bit, and uh, pretty much going to wait for it to go. Right. About 50% and one. Can't see the lights, so it's going to clear ourselves now. It's pretty steady. Start the timer. So you go. Right or left? Uh, right, sorry. Right, we're looking for 96.6% and one. And uh, we now have it. And we're coming across 80 knots now. There we go. Right. V1. V1. Rotate. About five degrees. Wait until the air. Uh, and then bring it all the way back up to the flight director. Along with LNAV and VNAV. Uh, not VNAV just yet. Puts the climb gear up. The reason why I go to five degrees to start off with, so we don't get a tail strike. Uh, straight into the clouds. Typical England, typical England. Autopilot can come on. It's realigned itself. And let's check if things are alright. Should have put the correct transition altitude to Heathrow. But it hasn't, so it's just 6,000 feet. Put the 
bring that back to the legs page. Alright, flaps one. Let's see it retracting. Like so, and all the way up as well. This is a bright day. Really bright day today. Yeah, so auto brake is off now. Everything's good. Flaps all, all the way up ever so soon. Forgot to tick that checklist, so we're gonna override that. Before our takeoff's checked, and that's the descent checklist. So, clear that. Timer, you can see, is activated and started. That's good. And we are on our way to Toronto Airport in Canada. I just got that. Just got that scenery from Flight Time Bus today. So, hope you enjoy it. Say goodbye to England. Is that an airport down there? It is. Quite a small one. They're coming across nearly 5,000 feet. There we go, there it is. 5,000 feet. And. Coming across 6,000 feet, ready for our transition uh, into standard uh, standard pressure. That is. Two thousand feet per minute. Right, we go set standard pressure now, and uh, pretty much going to intervene the heights. It's going to cancel the restrictions and go all the way up to three four zero. Doesn't count on step climbs, does it? No. There we go. Clear to three four zero. All the way up. Got London down there. That's nice. Massive. And that's swinging all the way back. Well, hope you enjoyed the takeoff today at yeah, London Heathrow. That was 098. And I uh, hope you enjoy the London scenery as we come around in cinematics. I'll see the descent probably around just about Canada, just over the sea, close to it. And goodbye.
Welcome back into the descent down into Toronto, Canada. We are currently uh, flying for 6 hours and 54 minutes. When I said I beat you just by the sea, I meant the lake to sing, which is a thing of this, this lake I was talking about here. And um, currently just past 20,000 feet, so let's make sure the passage signs are on and everything's looking good. Uh, we have 9.3 tons of fuel less on board. If we go back to the program page, we can see we should be landing with 8.5. In it ref, we can be landing at flaps 30, it's a quite a short runway, uh, and the speed of 139 knots. Go back to VNAV as well and go to the forecast. We're going to request, uh, let's go transition altitude first, which is 1800 feet, and uh, request the forecast, and I'll load that in once it's done. Hopefully, it won't be too long. And there we go. Load that in. Like so. Execute to make sure. Let's hopefully, let's see if there's any wind for uh, the, the rest of the flight today. And also, we should check the QNH. As we just passed transition altitude quite a while ago. Uh, 1019. Like so. And uh, we can load in the winds, like it said. And there we go, we got some winds. And uh, just doing another descent forecast. Like so. That's perfect. Right. So, program page is saying we should be landing at uh, not, uh, seven t 10 past 7 Zulu time, which is 14 minutes. Uh, away from us now, so there's not really much to do for that long. But what we can do, as we're landing the Cat One, uh, we set the barriers to 750 feet. Gonna sit down there. It's gonna go up to 750. Yeah, 680. There we go. 750 feet. If you go in the localizer, it would be 960 feet above. That's typical America and Canada, the massively straight roads. Such fun. This is fast, it's quick, it's good. Just about to pass. Uh, we're on the VNAV still, so it's going to bring down this view here. And I'm gonna probably bring this down to 20 just to be more precise. Yeah, it's kinda of for you. Lots of rivers and lakes and rivers and lots of lakes. Yeah, there's a is that no, that's a lake. On the left of us apparently it's a lake. This massive thing here. Well, it might be that one further out here. See the mouse is this, this is a lake. I don't know what the lake's called, but no one knows what that is. That'd be very helpful to let me know. All right, got no traffic ahead of us. There is one just in front of us, which is a Cessna 206, which we have n not to worry about. They should be worrying about our 66. It's there now. Uh, they're, they're at flight level 106. Uh, we're going to probably descend a bit faster than that. So we're good. See, so, uh, let's check the legs page. Um, let's check out any restrictions. That means we can set the run, uh, speed, which is to be 139. And so is this. Like so. Perfect. At this speed, 8, 5 miles away. So I don't think that's going to be just correct. So 5 miles to slow down that much. So I'm going to bring this down to 180. This one up to 200. Okay, that's fine. Okay, 210. 
perfect. Like so. Right, it's about to pass 10,000 feet, so it's going to turn on the lights. Like so. And uh, a, bit tough. It's a bit misty down here. Still got massive blue on the white wings. Look down here. Airport down there. That airport is CNP8. Doesn't actually have a name. Apparently. Right, it's slowing down to 240 knots. It looks like it's coping very well, but I'm going to bring in some speed brake just to bring it down even more. You can see the descent uh, just here. It's a very simple approach. There we go, found our speed. Should be li hitting Lipux soon. And now Mili, uh, which is this one here. If we're going to land on 28 right, we would be going to a waypoint called Dugda. Which should be like maybe like round here, so be like that. It's a two eight right, but we're landing on two eight left instead. That's two eight right. It's a takeoff runway. So at the moment, uh, the airport. I'm just going to talk about this weather situation. It's one zero one nine. Uh, it is twenty five degrees apparently. And uh, clouds are clear below 20,000 feet. And uh, we've got variable winds between 140 degrees to 250 degrees at about 4 knots. And the visibility, 10 plus miles. Which I guess is all this fog stuff. Well, on Vinav, which is good. Uh, on the Vinav uh, profile, I should be saying. And that's, is that the Cessna still? Yep, that Cessna is probably landing in a CNU-8 airport actually. Which uh, is currently, might be somewhere just there, the airport. But Toronto is like just a bit, pretty much around here. It would probably not be realistic. And it's okay, we can't find the airport in there, but that's fine. Alright. We're about to make our approach uh, down. Uh, down to the final approach. We're just going to turn left and all that. What we're going to shoot go and, go and do now is the recall nose check. Dust break is set to 2. And landing data, VREF and minimums is checked. Approach briefing is completed. Alright. Altimeters are already set, actually, so let me take that. And that's the landing checklist. There you go. You can see that actual approach here. Really simple. It's now two past seven. Zulu time. Got small, smaller lakes. I got some, I, uh, test out Toronto earlier, and uh, it turned out to be pretty good FPS. So hopefully. It shouldn't be too bad as we land. Uh, most of the air America airports I have uh, banned FPS, so quite annoying. After this flight, I'm probably going to try and decrease my brightness, or may maybe no, not the brightness, the bloom is the thing that's worrying me about. We could probably just descend down. Uh, uh, probably hit 2,000 on the VNAV and uh, bring that back to 3,000 for the when we want to see the approach we can put 3,000 for the go around if we have to do one if there's an aircraft on the runway or something like that okay hopefully the quality wings 787 uh, been in the, uh, the summer 2017 photo for quite a while and was waiting for that to come out. 
and we do a, bit, a lot more flights instead of using like a triple seven. We can do the exact same flight in the BA seven eight seven. So that's pretty cool. Let's get this wing view here. Canada. Let's go. Let's go to the left. Nice. Some weird textures going on here. Alright, we can probably, as we hit this uh, waypoint, we can probably arm the localizer, but I'm going to do it now. Uh, just to make sure. We are on path and everything, so. Like I last video, the RLS automatically apparently tunes in, as you can see. There we go. Local once we hit this, localizer will kick in. And uh, I'm going to slow down once again. After Amuli, probably going to bring out some speed brakes to bring that down to 220 or 210 knots. It was. Like so, 220 knots. All right, localizer is active. Uh, this is found the runway heading there, like so. Which that is correct. That's amazing. And uh, Toronto Airport's loaded in now. Got about 30 FPS. Or 20 FPS, sorry. Landing lights are on. Passenger signs are on. Let's do all the, the landing checklists. So, checklists can come up. And we're not back on that localizer anymore. Back onto the VNAV. See, see the glide up there. Right, flaps one, flaps five. Let's bring that speed down there. There we go. We're looking for a one eight zero. So once we hit, looks like we can go flaps fifteen straight away now. But we don't want to go now. Once we've hit the the debug of speed one, I bring the flaps down. 15. We've been a little bit to the left of the runway right now, but so far out, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Right, speed brakes out. Let's bring the speed down, shall we? That would help if we now go flats 50. Like so. That's some sort of like. Because that was a scenery texture glitch. What I'm going to do is hold on the altitude right now. Let's wait for that localizer to get through here. Let's get back to that glide slope. So I'm going to keep on the VNF until we get down to 3,000 feet. Sounds like a plan. Right. The uh, speed spoilers can go away. And we can arm them. Nice. I think I have the airport in sight. Because it's uh, got some random black pixels flickering over there through the clouds. Oh no, uh, fog, sorry. Let's bring this up to 3000. And I was going to wait here until the glass that comes back down. We're going to hit the approach as we are all lined up from the localizer. Right. We right, can see it coming down here now. Cabin R ready. FMC message. Drag is required. No, it's not. Uh, Alright. It's a glass tape. And it is active, and we are just now descending. Right, I do have the run runway in sight. There is flaps 20. And uh, once we hit 2,000 feet above ground, we will go gear down. So, 
Get down. Uh, that is not get down. That is get down. What did I do? Oh, I did speed breaks. Like so. Right. Flaps 25. It's flaps 30. So I'm to bring this down to the reference speed of 159, uh, 139, sorry. When we're in sight, and I think we have two whites and two reds. Zoom in so much. Can't see. But there's the runway as you saw. And to hit 1,000 feet above, I might just get rid of the autopilot and the uh, land this plane. Seven hours and ten minutes currently. We're flying. Right, landing checklist is complete. Get rid of that now. Right, also tussle, come in. Right, okay, probably be a bit quiet just like trying to concentrate on things. One Quite a lot of aircraft coming in final. I think there's an aircraft coming in. 2-3. Uh, autopilot is disconnected. And nose down a little bit. Approaching two, four, left. Not too much. Bring the nose to the right. Go to auto throttle. For now. Bring the nose to the right a bit and a bit up. So a bit more power. Well do you. It's gonna do a visual approach. Right, but it's the left now. And the RS is a bit off. Approaching minimum. Continue. Fifty. All right. Idle power. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Ooh, a bit hard landing. All right. Idle reverse. Slowly bring the nose down. Like so. There's hundred knots. And uh, we can now bring in the reverses as we hit 60 knots. There we go. Welcome to Toronto in Canada. And uh, let's go and request GSX for our gate. Alright, let's try and cancel the auto brake before it does anything. A bit more speed. Right, gate. Right, let's go check out the gate we're going to today. It was 173. Something close to that. 173, yes. Do not want to request a follow me. Handling by Air Canada, nice. Righty ho, let's go and clear up. So, the support has already came in as we uh, put in some power in the engines. Got the flaps coming all the way up now. And, flight directors are off. Start the APU. And the lights and the strobe light. It's gonna hold short on a two eight right, just to make uh, two four right. Sorry, just to make sure nothing's coming. Right, one seven three is oh oh that's a nice nice parking place. Good good goody. Gonna check nothing's coming around on this runway here. It's gonna start the timer as well. I think I might have just done a go around. This, whoa, what is going on around this airport? 
nothing is on the runway. It seems to be, so bring us some more power. Nothing's on final. And our gate is on this thing, I think. I can't find it. Somewhere on this thing here. Right. Not sure we just crossed there, but we're going to carry on and get tax down. Some crazy things. I think we just taxi tax down here. Could have just come off Delta 4, to be honest. We could probably uh, bring up the auto thrust alarms again. APU is now running. That's good. Keep taxiing down here until we, until we reach the gate. Yes. Alright. That is central de icing facility. Wow. This is Canada, so I guess you need to de ice quite a lot of times. As uh, in the winter, it gets pretty cold. Like, pretty cold. Right, so now I know where we are. Looking at that, we are taxiing now at Delta. It looks like a Bravo. It's kind of hard to see. And uh, just crossing. Now at the edge of this runway. No, there's nothing coming in to land or take off. This is a taking off runway. So, there shouldn't be anything coming down here. Just going to cross it now. There's no one-way systems going on, so it's looking all good. Go across this at Delta, and then go down Alpha. It looks like, and we should be pretty much approaching our gate, which is near this Air Canada. Are these the old Air Canada deliveries? Yes, yeah, so our gate is right here, as you can see. I didn't dismiss Alpha, did I? No, I didn't. Is out on the left now. Crossing Delta. And I'll literally do a little swerve in to this terminal here. Apron 793, apparently. Or Pier F. That's an aircraft over there coming to land as well. This is a nice airport by Fly Tampa. Right, we can probably turn off the runway turn offs. As they're not needed at all in the day, to be honest. We can reset the barrow, VORs can come off, weather and data as well. And traffic. Traffic on this side, terrain and data, and VOR near deals. Right. That's good. Right, we can just come to standby on the TCAS as well. And here is our gate, so let's taxi down in here. Got a safe gate working as well. Is, is it working? Because if it is, we can get GSX and not need a marshaller. I think it is working as well. It's pretty good. Right, these idle power on the engines is going crazy. properly line up here. Okay, safe gets me to stop and the uh, GSX is telling me to carry on going. So that he'll be good. Uh, set the parking brake. Get it rid of the engines. Get the hydraulics and the power for some of it. Most lights can come off now. 
and also the packs. And now that's off, the beacon light can come off as well. Right. Welcome to Toronto, Park and Breakers set. Yes. Yeah, so welcome to Toronto, uh, in Canada. It's been a long flight of 7 hours and 14 minutes, with the engines being turned on for 7 hours and 27 minutes. Here is the Air Canada. Uh, nice red suit. A tart's a bit, bit, bit short, apparently. And a bit askew, which means I came in a bit of an angle. And that gate is coming up here, nice and slowly, perfect. Oh yeah, that is an old livery. No, that's not. An, that's not an old livery. That is, isn't it? Isn't that not a bit too blue? But hey, it's the Austrian. Got the uh, installed the transparent uh, textures, so we can actually have an interior of the airport. There we go. Uh, you can't actually see. You can't see out of it. It's bad. Well, I hope you enjoyed the flight today with the uh, Air Canada eight five seven. I'll see you next one, which will probably be the return flight. And goodbye.